Never has the next four outs sounded so good. After running their winning streak to four straight games, the Tigers enter the final week of the season, their final game of the season, back in the bubble conversation. That according to ESPN's Joe Lenardi, who now has Memphis in his next four out as the Tigers head to Boca on Saturday to battle Florida Atlantic in a game you'll see right here on News Channel 3. The Tigers in this position thanks to one of the more remarkable runs in college football history. With under two minutes to go in the first half Sunday, UAB led by 22 points. Five minutes later, that lead was gone. The Tigers ripping off a 20 to nothing run to get back in the game. That's impressive enough. But how about a ridiculous 46 to nine spurt that turned this game this season on its heels. Instead of a bubble bursting loss to the Blazers, Memphis will ride some serious momentum into FAU thanks to a streak that almost left Penny Hardaway speechless. Maybe in the NBA I have because I played on the, the NBA. You can do that very easily because you see it all the time. Team will be down 20, 25 and end up winning the game by 10 or 12. So I never gave in, but how fast it happened did shock me. I wanted it to happen that fast, but it was like, I don't know. It was, it was really weird to just sit there and witness that. Being down 20 and then ending up winning by 20, is, that's, so. that's insane. Cutting the lead. Um, Cutting a lead that big down in, 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 in a matter of minutes is crazy. But it goes to show what we're capable of. The only real surprise to Sunday's game, David Jones, despite a 32-point performance, did not win AAC Player of the Week. Jones instead settling for the conference's honor roll for a sixth time this year after he averaged 25 points, almost 10 rebounds, three assists, and three steals in wins over East Carolina and UAB. Shout out also to the Tigers' Madison Griggs, who also was named to the AAC honor roll today.